Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ecosystem Restoration Camps on a very beautiful sunny day here in the south of England. I'm here to tell you about all of the things that the camps have been up to over the last few months uh, because they're just wonderful uplifting things that I'm sure you're all keen to hear about. So Camps in Aldevale in Brazil is working to restore the Atlantic rainforest which has been severely degraded over the past few decades due to the um, urban sprawl of Rio de Janeiro and they've just received some funding from the local government for a big reforestation project of 30 hectares on on their campsite ground uh, using lots of different techniques and they plan to plant 54,000 seedlings with a team of 10 people, 10 local people who are being paid to do that restoration work. So that's really, really awesome. Um, they are also building a processing plant for the jackfruit that they have growing on their site that is seen as an invasive species, but instead of cutting it down, they are using it to create products um, with their brand called Madre Frutos and they sell lots of jackfruit products at markets and local restaurants. So they are recruiting local people again to process five tons of jackfruit through this new processing plant. And they're also collaborating with other restoration hubs in the region across the Atlantic rainforest um, ecosystem and are planning to create a, a bike trail and ecotourism trail that, that links up all of these restoration hubs as a way to raise funds for their continued restoration work. So everything about this project I really love and um, I thought you would like to hear about them too. Uh, Camp Uto Forest in Thailand. They are now practicing centropic farming um, on their site because they want to create an, an edible forest and they've just been introduced to centropic agriculture so they're now experimenting with with that which is really cool. Camp Arcora in Australia um, they have planted 150 native trees and shrubs that they received as a donation and been, they've been clearing invasive species out of the koala habitat area. And their first restoration camp, which took place a few months ago, was a huge success and there are photos and updates to follow soon. Camp Patchland in Belgium uh, are working on their infrastructure to house campers, including a tiny house, a small house with three bedrooms, uh, a Volkswagen camper van, which is really cool, um, and an old ruin that they're restoring. They started and finished doing their baseline study um, and they have been cleaning all of the pollution that existed on the land because it was a landfill site before and it was very, very polluted. It's just outside of Brussels and they've, they've managed to clear 80% of that rubbish away already. Camp Versailles in France, they finished doing their baseline study, which was awesome, and they are in the process of creating a medicinal garden. Mombasa Mangroves in Kenya uh, has been donated 100,000 mango trees from a bank called Equity Bank, which they planted in 10 days. It's really incredible. The camp manager at that camp, Mubarak, has been nominated um, for a mangrove conservation award and they managed to plant 150,000 mangrove seedlings from April to June this year. So well done everyone at Mon Mombasa Mangroves. What you're doing is incredible. Camp Contour Lines in Guatemala uh, have been expanding into different regions. Before they were working in the Livingston, Livingston region uh, and now they are working in Antigua which is another region um, so they're scaling out uh, and are now working with 20 villages at 510 sites, which is amazing. And what they're doing is helping people transition from monocultures of chemical corn to regenerative agroforests on contour. They now have two fixed employees that are local people, which is a really big milestone for them. And they, they have an office 
and they're working with seven interns from a local alternative school to train them, train them up. Seven stores and three weekly markets are now selling their products, um, which are products that have come from the food forests that have been planted. And that's it. That's the update from the camps from uh, the last few months. I hope you enjoyed hearing all about them and I'm sure you'll agree that what they're doing is vital for human humanity and the rest of life on Earth to continue living living here on, on our planet.